can see something that looks like an ancient Mayan city. It must be Quiche, the city that Merlin told me about. What was that? Hey dude! Help me! Please! Help you? But how? I don't know! If I knew, why would I ask for help? Hey kitty, do you want to play with the ball? I hope this works. Hey, it's incredible! It's playing with a ball of stone! Hey kitty, do you want to play with the ball? It's incredible! It's chasing after the ball of stone! Damn beast! Don't get it angry again. Luckily, it's running the other way. I can't believe it! Right before my eyes, the mighty immortal third twin of the legend! Third what? The mighty immortal third twin! Don't you know the legend? I don't know what you're talking about. Incredible! You! You who are chosen by the gods and you don't even know the legend? Let me tell you the legend. Do you see that city? That city is Kishé, the capital of the Kishé kingdom, ruled by the legendary divine twins Hunapu and Shibalanke. Hunapu and Shibalanke are immortal and, just like their father and their uncle, Hun Hunapu and Hunapu Fukub, they are champions of the sacred Pelota game. It is written that, during a Pelota match, the father and uncle of the twins insulted the lords of Shibalba, the realm of the afterlife, and for this affront, they paid with their very lives. So Hunapu and Shibalanke descended into the underworld to seek revenge, and they challenged the lords of Shibalba to a Pelota match. The twins were unbeatable in the ball game, and they won. This annoyed the lords of the afterlife greatly, and so they beheaded the twins. But Hunapu and Shibalanke, incredibly, were resurrected. They had discovered that they were immortal, and thus defeated the lords of Shibalba. Once back in the world of the living, they founded the town of Kishé, which they still govern. Very interesting, but I don't see what all this has to do with me. It has everything to do with you! The legend says that one day an immortal man, just like the twins Hunapu and Shibalanke, would come from the depths of the jungle. This man would be equal to the twins in his greatness, and would be worthy to sit upon the third throne alongside the thrones of the twins. According to the legend, this man, after emerging from the darkness of the jungle and before reaching the city, would have played the game of Pelota with a jaguar. Well, I think you're wrong. I'm not that man. I'm not wrong, dude! I saw you playing ball with a jaguar! I saw it with my own eyes! May the god of corn burn me if it's not true! The immortal third twin! I still can't believe it! What's your name? My name's Alfred. Divine Alfred, my name is Iktan. Remember me when you're sitting beside the twins. Okay, sure. I'll make you Prime Minister. <laughs> my legs are trembling. Why do they tremble so? Is it because you're in the presence of the divine third twin? No, they tremble because I'm still in shock from that whole jaguar thing. I, I thought I was going to die. I have to sit down. My legs are giving out. I need something strong. Something to calm my nerves. How about a glass of water? Nope. I need something strong. Unfortunately, I finished my kuka leaves. Chewing them makes me feel calmer. Take a drink of this. It will help you to recover. I feel better already. This drink is wondrous. Thank you, Divine Alfred. How can I repay you? You could lead me to the city. It's my pleasure. I was going there before the jaguar came out of the jungle. You're lucky, dude. Today is a good day to visit the city of Kishé. Why? Because today, they celebrate the great feast in honor of the Divine Twins. And the highlight of the celebrations is the Holy Pelota match, which will end, as it does every year, with the sacrifice of the captain of one of the teams. A human sacrifice? 
Yeah, dude! It's a wonderful moment! I wouldn't miss it for anything in the world! That's horrible. I'd never put myself in the shoes of the losing team's captain. Hey, dude! Why don't you join the game? The legend says that you're a great Palota player, just like the Divine Twins! No thanks. I don't want to end up sacrificed to the God of Corn. Why even worry? You're immortal! I'd prefer to avoid that whole mess, thank you very much. Oh, such a shame. Well, let's go. Wait a moment. Why don't you take that stone ball with you? I fear we could meet that Jaguar again. You're right. This is the city of Quiche, Divine Alfred. I hope you have a good time here. Thank you, Iktan. It was my pleasure to guide you here. For now, I'm off to the playing field. A Pelota match is too good to miss. I beg you, dude, come and watch the game. It would be a shame for you to miss it. See you there! I don't think I'll go. I can't stand the sight of blood. A vegetable merchant. She has a well-stocked stall full of fresh vegetables. A woman furiously grating potatoes. What are you doing? I'm grating potatoes. Can't you see? Yes, I see. But why? I'll give you one guess. Why would someone grate potatoes? Um, to cook a dish with grated potatoes? Oh, clever you! Yeah, I guess it was kind of a stupid question. Tell me about the immortal twins. Sorry, I'm a bit busy. I have to prepare a meal for many people and I still have to grate a lot of potatoes. I'd rather not waste my time talking about those two bullies. Something tells me that she doesn't like the Divine Twins very much. It's been great chatting with you. Bye. Bye bye. A wooden grater. It would be perfect to make breadcrumbs just like in Pantagruel's recipe. I can't steal it. The owner would see me. I'd better ask to borrow it. I noticed you have two graters. Could you lend me one? No, I never lend my stuff out. Whenever I do so, they are never returned. Can I give you something in its place? Ah, you want to trade me something for it? That could work, but it depends on what you have to offer. I'd like to buy tomatoes. Tomatoes? I'm sorry, I don't have any. Could you tell me where I might find some? I don't really know. And honestly, I don't recommend trying to find any tomatoes. You'd be wasting your time. Tomatoes are now virtually impossible to find. Impossible to find? What the? It's because of Moyo, the new high priest of the sun god. He had all the tomatoes in the city seized and taken to the temple. Why on earth did he do that? I have no idea. Maybe he has to offer them to the sun god, or maybe he needs them for the rituals. I can't tell you more. I'm just a simple seller of vegetables. Tell me about the immortal twins. The immortal twins Hunafu and Shabalanke rule our city. It is said that they built Kish hundreds of years ago. They claim to be the offspring of the sun god himself. Even though they were born of a mortal man, Hun Hunafu, they boast of being the greatest players of the sacred ball game as well as being immortal, but no one has ever really questioned this. It is also said that Hunafu and Shabalanke descended into the underworld to avenge their father, and that they challenged the Dark Lords of the Afterlife to a Pelota match. Of course they said that they won, and were beheaded, but that they came back to life. I note a hint of sarcasm in your words. For heaven's sake, I would never dare mock our divine rulers. Have you ever heard the legend of the immortal third twin? Of course I have. The legend says that one day an immortal man, just like the twins who this man would be equal to the twins in his greatness. And according to the legend, this man, after emerging from the darkness... What if I told you that maybe the third twin has finally come to Kish? Oh, it wouldn't be the first time. Someone often comes along claiming to be the third twin. All the so-called third twins are sacrificed to check if they are telling the truth. And of course, none of them have ever resurrected. What? 
So, who is that so-called third twin? Just kidding. Forget it. It's been great chatting with you. Bye. Bye-bye.